Vasilisa Lipatova. I'm an artist, a sculptor. I live and work in Moscow, Russia. And now I want to present you my artwork, which I especially made for this competition. Artwork called Freedom of Choice. And because of that, uh, that my English is not good enough, I will read you my text which I wrote. So let's go. Uh, in freedom of choice, two objects, two storms are combined into a single space. One of them represents a human body, this one, and tells us what the standard attitude for the body is. In most case, it is rejection and violence. I don't like you. And now I'm going to make with you this and that out of you. Uh, and it is the freedom of choice to treat your body this way or to treat it with attention, acceptance and love. To hear it and to see it. The second object, this one, stone with shackles, represents freedom of choice in the level of consciousness. How often do you see around people suffering from their lives? How often a person is not satisfied with this and this and that? and about something more, a little bit, or maybe not a little, and drags his life as a head and load. How often a person doesn't even drag anything, but is chained to life so much that there is nothing to breathe anymore, that he seems to sink under this load. Every day, we see it every day. And it's also a choice to live like this, to live like this, or maybe not to live like this. To be free or to live in chains. It is just a question of your choice. A personal choice of everyone. And I'm talking about this not just because, but because I will see it everywhere around from my childhood and still now. And I think that it is the most important things for our life to our lives to understand this and to maybe just to make some another choice and maybe then life will be more full and full of happiness yeah okay and the second one thing which is uh, also important for me to talk about is uh, how does this competition call it calls banality of evil and this is also very very important thing for me in life. So what? how do I see it? Uh, the banality of evil is not there and then or in those people. The banality of evil is how we live our life here and now. The banality of evil begins with our attitude towards ourselves. To step one step at a time every day. And the less we understand that our life and everything that happens in it is accidental and not accidental, created by ourselves, created consistently or not consistently, it is just another question, but the less we are ready to take responsibility and be able to respond to what is happening around us, the more the world is sudden, cruel and unfair to us. Life is all the more cruel and difficult. 
the world around us begins with us. And the banality of evil is that all this we do to ourselves. In the 20th century, we could still speak about the regime, Sovietian, fascistic, totalitarian, but the, less has, the lesson has already passed. And monkeying today, in the 21st century, monkeying or rather everyone taken separately and is as free as never in history before. Today, the world is Stanley Adun Ubuntu, sorry, stanley accessible and stanley open to everyone. And all that remains to man is to make responsibility for himself. Just do it, you know. Just take it and do it. The choice is yours. Um, so it is for me now and in my life. And I'm very glad that I have this chance, <laughs> this response to talk to so much people about those things. So thank you very much for your attention. And bye-bye.